Big television, here is the heavyweight contender, the Predator, Francis Ngannou. As many of you know, he was humbled by Stipe Miocic in his first UFC championship fight. But not much of the shine is off of this guy. He has gotten back to his roots, worked hard on the conditioning over there at the UFC's Performance Institute, and many believe beginning tonight, Francis Ngannou is ready to put his best MMA foot forward. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing, and I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming, and he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game, and his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. This guy is an elite submission fighter. What he wants to do is get this fight a distinct advantage over his opponent. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record on. 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Francis, the predator! And now, for his opponent, fighting at the right corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 196 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Daddy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Lovegood. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Shot is blocked there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. And Ngannou gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Slightly deflected. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Got to get his head off the center rock. Looking for that oh, left. Big left hand! And they're down on the ground. Inside the guard, right away. There's a guillotine. It looks like a tight guillotine here. It looks fairly close. His guillotine is nasty. Oh, oh, this fight's over. This fight's over. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here to just set up on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, 
he chose to tap out. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. After this contest, at two minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to a guillotine choke. Big Daddy! Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration. And it's nice to see this fighter sharing a moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving.